Hello and welcome to Taxi Tutorials. Today we are going to talk about spread operators and rest parameters in ES6. That is JavaScript's latest version. This is how it looks like. It's uh, three dots and a variable name. Um, hmm, it reminds me of uh, when I spread butter on my toast, uh, just like this. And it leaves a mark. Um, oh, make him hungry because it looks so delicious. Okay, jokes apart, just like a plus sign or minus sign, you know, they are operators. Spread operator is also an operator. Basically, spread operator spreads on demand. Okay, I have a function here, and I don't know when I execute this function how many parameter I'm gonna pass up to it. Um, it could be one, two, three, or 100, I don't know. So, I'm going to put spread operator as a parameter. So I'm just gonna put uh, dot, 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 n, and that will be sufficient. Inside the function, this n becomes an array. And all the parameter that I passed are the elements of the array in that order. So I can do something like this. Console.log n. Let's say if I run this, one, two, three, four, I'll get an array of four elements, which is one, two, three, four. Now you must be wondering, wait a minute, why do we need this? Doesn't JavaScript already have something like this? I mean, and it's even simpler. Uh, for example, you don't even have to pass any parameters. You can simply say, this means I'm not passing any parameters. And inside, you can use the object arguments. So why do we need another operator to complicate things? Well, this argument thing really works. However, there are some issues with it. First of all, uh, when you don't pass anything, you do get the arguments object here like this, but this is not array. So for example, if I console, um, I get one, two, three, four, but this looks like an array, but this is really not an array. It's an array-like object, uh, which has few few things. You can you can find the length, but that's about it. So usually, when you have this, you have to do this to convert the arguments into an array. You have to do this, and this will convert the arguments object into a real array. Uh, the short form also is. You can also use something like this. Uh, this is a simpler way of doing it, but it does the same thing. However, you have to do it. You don't get the real array directly. Uh, but then you're like, oh, so all I have to write one line, so that's not that trivial. Well, it turns out uh, the argument is not, argument's object is not very efficient. That's why we needed a spread operator. With the spread operator, you get better performance. Also, you can do something like this. You can say A, B, C, and then the rest of parameter, N. Here, I have A, B, and C parameter, which I already know. And the rest of the parameters, I can say N. Spare operator means, uh, I don't know the rest of the parameter, but I know three parameters. So this you cannot do with the arguments object. So here, I am passing A, B, C because I know them, and the rest, I don't know, so I'm going to pass the spread operator. That's why they call it the rest parameters, because I don't know the rest. That was a joke. So when you pass an argument using spread operator, it's called rest parameters. There is also one more advantage. Outside the, fun outside the function, when you pass argument, 
you can pass in as an array. So here, I can do something like this. Something like this. And I can pass this as dot 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 n. Now the spread operators are not only for the arguments. You can use it somewhere else as well. Because they are operators means you can you know, use it anywhere else where this operator is needed. For example, arrays. Let's say I have an array called life equal to uh, born uh, learn to walk learn JavaScript in the middle I don't know what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna say do whatever the spread operator here and in the end I go to heaven so I don't know what I'm gonna do in the middle so I was born uh, I learned to walk, I learned JavaScript, and middle I do some stuff, right? And in the end, I go to heaven. I can replace to do whatever with anything. So I can create another array called var do whatever equal to have fun, have more fun have even more fun and let's say if I console this life out let's say what I get I get a full array so this is quite useful you can also do something like this if you want to combine two arrays. Uh, let's say you have a array A equal to 1, 2, 3 and array B equal to 4, 5 and 6. You can say A dot push dot 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 B. This basically combines to array so if I do console log a I'd get a combined array uh, this was not possible before before you had to do something like this before you had to do something like like this where you do array prototype push apply a and b so uh, it works out fine and this two arrays melts like butter on the toast you know basically it spreads nicely if you ask me so that's all about uh, spread operator and rest parameters i hope you learned something and if you did please uh, like the video and uh, provide the comment and subscribe for future cool videos. Uh, I have a whole new series of this ES6 here. I'll provide a hyperlink so you can look at the, the other cool ES6 videos. Thank you. Hope you have learned something from this tutorial. If you did, then please uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe the channel, like the video, and provide some constructive comment or question if you have.